Hi everybody and welcome to my channel. Um, I just wanted to come on here to let you guys know that we are about to release the part three of our 11 part series on how to increase your dropshipping sales. Last week, um, we talked a little bit about how whenever you are finding high rated products, how you are able to take the information that's in the reviews and put that into your item description. That way you're standing out um, and you're different from all the other sellers and from all the other products and that can help increase your sales so this week we're gonna be talking a little bit about how you can use a more tempting price to be able to get your buyers to choose your product your products over um, your competition's products and how you can do that is you can reach your buyers on more of a psychological level so kind of you know working with how it is that they think and that way it it kind of gears them more towards choosing the products that you have listed one great way that you can do that is by adding like a 99 cent at the end of your um, your price so if, if you think about it when you see a price of ten dollars compared to a 9.99 the one that you are most likely going to kind of move towards or migrate towards is going to be the 9.99 because our minds automatically see the lower dollar amount and so that's kind of where we gear towards and so you know pricing it anyway like 9.97 or 9.99 or 9.98 that's a really great technique that you can use to get your buyers to just click there and to buy that one and, and kind of trick them up a little bit so the next um the next thing that you can do is what is called a fragmented pricing. And what that is, is you are giving your buyers a choice. So you are making them feel more comfortable, like, hey, I'm, I'm getting to choose this on my own. You're not just telling me what to do. And by doing that, you can give them options. So you can offer either just a one item for one specific price or bundle it up to where they can buy it um, either multiple, maybe like a, a package of two or a package of three. And you can either adjust the price that way or, you know, make it to where it looks like it's a little bit cheaper. But then what you're doing is you're giving them the option so that they feel as though they are in control and being able to choose what it is that they want to. Now, the um, another great idea that um, I actually didn't even think of that I think is absolutely brilliant, especially if you own a Shopify store or a WooCommerce store, because you have the um, the ability to choose how your um, how your your stores look and how you put your products is you can do what is called a price anchoring. So you will take one item, say a TV that is priced at a thousand dollars, and then you put it next to a TV that is priced at five hundred dollars. And you want to choose the lower amount as an item that you want to get rid of or that you are wanting buyers to buy more of. And then you're putting it next to a more expensive product. And what happens is the the buyers or your potential buyers they're looking at an expensive product and then a cheaper product and they're thinking as though the cheaper product is just a better deal um it doesn't really matter what the features are um you know they just they automatically migrate towards the cheaper one and so that's a great way where if you have a product that you really want to get a, a rid of or maybe you can make more profit off of try to put it right next to an item that um, is just priced higher but is a similar item that way it looks more um, more appealing to the buyers and then the fourth thing that you can do is you can use your discounts properly and by doing that you can raise the the actual price of your item and then put a discount on it like a 50 percent off or a 75 percent off one great example of that is my husband and i we were shopping for our kids and um we were trying to find christmas presents and we found this adorable teddy bear bennett bring me the teddy bear real fast so this teddy bear, we look at the tag and it's marked at 75% off. So right away, this is the teddy bear. So right away, we're like, wow, 75% off. That's fantastic. Let's get it. 
So I look at the price and the normal price for this teddy bear, I kid you not, is $30 for this. Okay, and so with a 75% off, it, it only ended up being like around $8, which is probably a normal price for this. But we still ended up buying it because 75% off, like it just stuck in our minds as though, you know, yay, we're getting a great deal. Um, so, and I mean, I, I guess $8 is pretty good when you're at the mall getting something. But, um, but you can see though how they enticed us on more of a psychological level. Like they, they got into our brains and made us think, oh, we're getting this fantastic deal. And so that's just another idea that you can use to price your items, to use tempting pricing on your items that will help you to increase your sales for next year. So I hope you guys have found this um, um, helpful to you guys. I hope you can use these tips and these tricks. Um, just remember as well, we have more, more information that's coming for you. So make sure that you subscribe to our blog down below so we can send these out to you in an email. That way you have them. You can print up the information as well. And plus too, there's going to be more in the blog than what I'm telling you here. I'm just giving you a gist of it. Um, also to make sure you subscribe to our channel. If you want to be able to get more information for drop shipping, um, that includes drop shipping on eBay, Amazon, Shopify, WooCommerce, wherever, um, especially customer service I am your customer service expert if you want to call it that um, so if you have any questions as well put them in the comments hit the little bell too so that you're getting notifications and I will see you guys in the next video have a great day bye